General Secura here with a double battle for you guys using my Rain Dance team. This pass has been around like for freaking forever, but I I haven't really used it all that much. So I'm going up against a German guy by the looks of things. I mean Kripuk, that's Spiritum's German name if I recall correctly. So I'll go with Kingdra, Jirachi, Toxicroak, and Kabutops. Since they're uh, Flygon and Gorbis, I don't think they were going to be that useful. So out come Kingdra and Jirachi and Spiritomb and Rotom. I think this guy had something like a Mono Ghost team for the most part. But yeah, this battle is pretty easy. I'll go with Kingdra sets up the Rain Dance. Which is pretty beneficial to this team, like almost every member. But Flygon has something to do with the Rain. For example, it gives my Jirachi a 100% accurate Thunder move. Which combined with Jirachi's Serene Grace ability gives Thunder 60% of Causic Paralysis. So Jirachi uses Psychic and does good damage to Rotom. Almost knocks it out in one shot. And its special defense drops. And Kingdra uses Rain Dance to set up Swift, to allow it to use Swift Swim. And Dio goes for Shockwave. And like, I already knew this guy wasn't a serious player. And he goes for Ominous Wind as well. And Ominous Wind already gets a critical. Ominous Wind could be useful on a Spirit Tomb. Like, the boost in all stats could be pretty useful. And it's not that much weaker than, like, Shadow Ball or Dark Pulse. So... This panel's really laggy. I mean, it takes freaking forever for my move screens to show up. So I'll just use Dragon Pulse on Rotom to finish it off. And I'll go with Thunder on Spirit Tomb. To like cause a little paralysis hacks. Hopefully. Okay, so Kingdra uses Dragon Pulse and knocks out Rotom as expected. And Jirachi uses Thunder. It does good damage to Spiritomb, but no paralysis hacks. And he gets another critical hit with Ominous Wind, damn. Does he like have a scope lens or something? Oh no, he has a shell bell. Okay, so in that case he's just getting lucky. And now he brings out Shedinja or Ninja Tom, as it's called in German. This was pretty troublesome since I didn't have anything that could deal with a Shedinja. Kingdra and Jirachi can't, so we have to switch out for that. Bring in Kabutops, since he has Stone Edge. And since this, gu since this guy is a noob, I'm not really expecting his Shedinja to have a Focus Sash. So yeah, this should go pretty easily. And I'll just go with another Thunder to knock out Spirit Tomb. Okay, so Kingdra switches out. Goes back to its netball, and out comes Kabutops. And Jirachi uses Thunder and knocks out Spiritum. So, yeah, I. At the start, I already knew I was going to win this, but. 
It's drawing out pretty long. He uses Confuse Ray. He gets lucky that he hits Kabutops. But if he had like Shadow Claw or Shadow Ball, he could have easily knocked out Jirachi. And he brings out Frost Lass or Frost Dejje in German. German names really don't make any sense to me. I mean, I have German in school and it's like my second best subject, but uh, I don't understand any of these German Pokemon names. Never really bothered to as well. So I'll go with another Thunder on Frostlass. Since Frostlass is is not bulky at all. Maybe it, it'll be a one hit KO or cause Paralysis Axe. And Kabutops uses Stone Edge and knocks out Shedinja. So things are going pretty good for me right now. I mean they have been going that way from the beginning. But the fall of Shedinja is pretty much the final nail to this guy's figurative coffin. And he gets Paralysis Axe. And he goes with Icy Wind. What does he have against attacks with more than 60 base power, I wonder? The speed drop doesn't really matter, I mean, he's, para he's paralyzed, I'm gonna be faster than him anyway. So now we just finish it off with, every with some weak attacks just to let him suffer. Use X Scissor, it's not very effective, but who cares. And go with Jirachi's grand finishing move, Draco Meteor. To let him know that he's been defeated by the Edge of the Night Sky Jirachi event. So Kabutops hits itself, that's pretty unfortunate. But Jirachi lets rip a Draco Meteor and it knocks out Frostlass. So yeah, pretty easy battle. You can uh, look forward to more good PBR battles, Pokemon Ruby Let's Play and God of War 3 Let's Play. And maybe Time Splitters as well if I feel like it. So I'll see you guys later. Go watch my Let's Plays. Now, I'd order you to.